Hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah. We have all had the experiences of missing something. When you miss something, we feel frustrated or mad. Hallelujah. But usually, we handle it pretty well. If we miss the bus, we can catch another one. Right? If we miss an appointment, we make another one. If we miss a visitor, we go and visit him. If we miss a phone call, in our thinking, oh, they will be probably call back. If you miss a meal, you can always eat later. Praise God. Sinong mga gutom na mga patid? Praise All misses, however, some are not as easy to collect as this. Like for example, if you miss the deadline of filing your income taxes, there is usually a penalty Amen. that must be paid. Amen. If you miss a business deadline or a payment deadline, there is usually a penalty to be paid. Amen. Sometimes a sick person who misses taking his medicine will suffer because of it. Yeah. Now if you are thinking about these things, there are spiritual implications in these thoughts. Hallelujah. What if you miss a home in heaven? Hallelujah. Close your eyes and think about it for a moment. Come on. Let's close our eyes and think about it for a moment. What if you miss a home in heaven? What if you don't have a place in heaven? Hallelujah. It is a terrible thought, isn't it? Amen. That's all. Uh, there's only one meaning. If you miss a home in heaven, there's another home. Yeah. 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 And that is a very dreadful place. Yeah. That's, right. That's why it is a terrible, hallelujah thought. When you're thinking about it, you will miss heaven. So what should you do if you don't get to go to heaven? Ano bang pwede natin gawin? Hallelujah kung sa tingin natin ay we are missing heaven. The Bible states that some will miss heaven. According to Jesus, in our text, Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23, not everyone will be saved. Amen. Not everyone will enter heaven. Amen. And according to this text, there are going to be some surprises in the day of judgment when we see Jesus face to face. There will be many who thought they were right but will be sort of fully surprised in the day of judgment. If you're just a hearer of the word, if your heart and your deep violated God's will, Despite of the miraculous or uh, great works that you have done for your own glory. Hallelujah. And you are not a doer. But there's no application of the word of God. There's no application, hallelujah, of the will of God in our life. If you don't follow the Lord Jesus' teachings, if you don't obey it, if you don't truly know him, our text says you will miss heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. In my introduction, a while ago I said God wants each and every one of us to be in heaven with him forever. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe you like it, that idea also. Who wants to go to hell? <laughs> no one, right? Everyone wants to go to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 comes into play. Hallelujah. It says here, examine yourselves. Whether you ye be in the faith. Are you still in the faith? Amen. 
Hallelujah. If you're not sure, examine yourselves. Look your own selves. Know ye not your own, your own selves. How that Jesus Christ is in you. Except ye be rep reprobates. Praise God. But sadly, many will die in sin. Hallelujah. Now for the sake of our visitors and some of us, let's define what is this sin I am talking about. To put it simply, hallelujah, sin is anything we say, anything we think or did in the past or even in the present that is against the will of God. Anything that is against the will of God. Anything that is against the word of God. Anything that yes. is not, hallelujah, hallelujah, the will of God. Yes. Anything that is not pleasing to God. Amen. Amen. Anything outside of faith. Anything outside the Lord Jesus. So if your life is outside the Lord Jesus, you are living in sin. Hallelujah. John 8, 24. Praise God. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, Jesus said, ye shall die in your sins. Hallelujah. Many will be lost in hell forever because they died in their sins. For not believing the Lord Jesus is the great God and Savior. Some knew they were in sin. They acknowledged themselves. Oh, I am, a, I am a sinner. I am a sinful man. Some did not know they were in sin. Hallelujah. They think they are not living in their sin. So they, they, they don't know. But the truth is, they will still be lost forever in hell if they die in their sins. If they die without Jesus. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So why are sinners separated from God? Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 13. Thou art of pure eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously, and holdest thou tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he. Hallelujah. Malalim in English na yan, mga batid. Hallelujah. But it says here that, Hallelujah, because our God is a holy God, He cannot allow or tolerate sin. Yes. Yes. But despite of this, He is not abandoning you. He's still reaching out unto you, our visitors. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Desiring you will not, uh, you will not, uh, hindi kayo mapapahamak mga kapatid, hallelujah, sa buhay na ito at sa darating na buhay. He's desiring you will repent of your sins and not willing that anyone should perish. Hallelujah. He loves you and wants to save you. So do not die in sin. Praise God. The scriptures tell that there are few that will go to heaven. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14. Praise God. Ay yung mga uh, organization na nagtuturo na lahat ng tao ay papasok sa kalihan, they're teaching a false doctrine. Yes. For the Bible, is very clear that not everyone will enter in heaven. Verse 13, Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many, see, there be which go in the rat. Verse 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto and few. See? Few. There be that find it. 
Kukunti lang makakasumpong ng langit. Kukunti lang makakasumpong ng eternal life, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Most of the world does exactly what they want in their life. Huwag mong, uh, mong pakialaman ang aking buhay. Buhay ko ito. Yan ang mindset ng mundong ito. Hallelujah. They have the least bit of concern of God's wishes and requirements in their life. Amen. If you talk uh, to them about the Word of God, about their uh, lifestyle, magagalit sila sa iyo mga kapatid. Why there are few that will enter heaven? According to 1 John 5.19, the whole world lagged in wickedness. Ang buong mundo ay nasa kapangyarihan ng Diablo. So here is another reference to the great number that will miss going to heaven. Again, few will be going to heaven. For only few choose and find the small gate or the narrow way, mga kapatid, that leadeth to life in heaven. Do, believe, do you believe in yourself that you are walking in this narrow gate? Amen. In this narrow road? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Yung iba, hindi sumagot. Praise God. Hindi sila sigurado. Praise God. So why will there be so many miss heaven? Bakit marami ang hindi makakapasok sa kalangitan? Number one, because many will not obey God. Yes. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8 to 9. Hallelujah. Though he were a son, referring to Jesus, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Verse 9. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Praise yes. God. There will be no salvation without obedience. Yes. That's what the verse says. As simple as that. There is no salvation without obedience. Yes. For Jesus was obedient and we must be the same. Yes. Obedience is a must yes. if we want to enter heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 22 verse 14. Blessed are they that do His commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates into the city. So in this verse, obedience is a prerequisite to salvation. A ticket to enter heaven. But sadly, many will miss their reward in heaven because they refuse to obey God. Never mind God la. This is my life. I can do all things what I want. Sige, kapag yan ang mindset mo, you will be surprised in the day of judgment. Amen. Hallelujah. If someone is correcting your life, your behavior, your attitude, be grateful. Amen. For they want you to be sure to enter heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. So why will there be so many miss heaven? Number two, because many are filled with pride. Everybody say pride. Pride. Praise God. Obaja verse 3 and 4. The Lord said concerning Edom, Edom was filled with pride. And this is a major barrier for many people in the, in the world today. Yes, that's right. Hallelujah. Many are too proud to admit they are wrong. Yes. I am always correct. 
That's their mindset. You are the wrong. Only you, not me. Some employers like that, right? <laughs> Even if they are already wrong, they say to you, you are wrong. <laughs> Hallelujah. Many are caught up in themselves thinking that they don't need God because of their pride. They said, I don't need God. Many are caught up thinking they don't need the church. I just stay at home in my room, just pray, I don't need fellowship. But the truth is, we need each other. We need fellowship. We need the church. my word, then are ye my disciples. 
same disciples indeed. Hallelujah. The word if, praise God. And there's also the word then in this verse. Hallelujah. When we say if, there is a condition. Hallelujah. Jesus said, this is the condition. If you continue in my word, then ang magiging resulta, ye are my disciples indeed. Or in other words, you are truly my disciples. In other words, hallelujah, if you continue in Jesus, in his word, you will enter heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 11 verse 22. There, in this verse, there is no way we can go to heaven unless we remain faithful unto the Lord. Amen. In this verse, it says that God is a God of severity to the unfaithful. And they will miss heaven. Lahat ng unfaithful magsabing praise the Lord. Examine yourselves, mga patid. <laughs> Why will there be so many miss heaven? Number four, because of sin. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 to 2. Hallelujah. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Verse 2. But your iniquities or your sin have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. So sin separates us from the Holy God. Any unforgiven sins will cause us to lose our chance entering heaven. James chapter 1 verse 14 to 15. Hallelujah. But every man is tempted when he is thrown away of his own lust and enticed. Verse 15. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it's finished, Bring it forth, death. When we say death, it is an eternal separation from God. The wages of sin is death. So you will be forever separated from God if you are still living in sin. And sin is the reason many people will miss heaven. Praise God. Why will there be so many miss heaven? Number five. Because of the works in the flesh. Of the flesh. When you, because of the works of the flesh, many will not inherit the kingdom of God. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 10. We will read it in Tagalog version. Praise God. Uh, to our uh, Madagasi sisters, uh, you can understand it. <laughs> you, uh, you interpret. Praise God, hallelujah, sa inyong mga, kay, uh, mga katabi nila. Verse 9, O hindi ba ka ninyo nalalaman ng mga liko ay hindi magsisipag mana ng kalihan ng Diyos? Hallelujah. O lahat ng mga liko magsabing Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Salamat. Praise God. Huwag kayong padaya. Kahit ang mga, kahit ang mga mapakiapid. Ni, ni ang mga mananamba sa Diyos Diyosan. Ni ang mga mga kalunya. Lahat ng mga may asawa magsabing Amen. Amen. Ni ang mga nang bababae. Lahat ng mga tatay, magsabing 
Praise the Lord. Hindi ang mga mapakihapin sa kapwa lalaki. Lahat ng mga lalaki magsabi, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 10. Ni ang mga magdanakaw. May mga magdanakaw ba dito sa kanilang mga amo? Ni ang mga masasakim. Ni ang mga maglalasin. Praise God. Hindi akong nagsasabi ha yung Bible. Ni ang mga mapagtungayaw. Ni ang mga manglulupig ay hindi magagmamana ng kalihan ng Diyos. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 to 21. Praise God. Ito ba mga patid yung works of the flesh o yung mga hindi makakapasok sa kahalian ng Diyos? At hayag ang mga gawa ng laman sa mga tuwid ay ang mga ito. Pakikiapid, kalumihan, kalibugan. Maraming tumawa. Pagsamba sa Diyos Diyosan, pagkukulang, mga pagtataniman, mga pagtatalo. Sino may mga pagtatalo, mga pati sa oras nito? Mga paninibugho, mga pagkakaalitan, mga pagkakampi-kampi. <laughs> mas, magaling, mas magaling ang uh, unit 1 kaysa sa unit 2. Yan mga kapatid, pagkakampi-kampi. Kapag yan ang mindset natin, sabi ng uh, salita ng Diyos, we cannot enter heaven. Amen. Mga hitwa, hitwa ang pananampalataya. Praise God. Verse 21. Mga kapag kapag naghilian, <laughs> mga paglalasing, mga kalayawan, at mga katulad dito. Kapag sinabi mga katulad dito, mga kapatid, yung mga kamag-anak, ng paglalasing. Lahat ng mga nabanggit kanina mga kapatid. So, nandiyan yung paninigarilyo, pagkabuso sa droga. Lahat mga kapatid ng mga kamag-anak, pinsan, anti, angkel, mga kapatid ng mga nabanggit natin kanina. Lahat ng yan, if we are living in the works of the flesh, we cannot enter heaven into the kingdom of God. So, do you think right now, you are sure to enter heaven? Amen. Or does it seem you are missing it? Now we're talking about an eternity or forever here. Either forever in heaven or forever in hell. So this is a life and death matter. This is a life and death decision that we need to make. Hallelujah. There is no middle ground. Hallelujah. Now what to do if you are missing heaven? Meaning, you are on your way to hell. Kapag sa tingin mo, lumalakad ka na patungo, Sa impyerno. What? Hallelujah. What uh, to do? When you are missing heaven, you will start to think about some things. You will think how you will have no more opportunities to obey the gospel in hell. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 says, Today is the day of salvation. To our visitors, if you postpone your salvation today, I'm not the one saying it, but the word of God saying it, that if you postpone it, you may have no more opportunities to obey the gospel. The plan of salvation. Like Felix, a governor of Judea and Agrippa, the last king of Judea in the book of Acts, well, after they hear the gospel, after they hear Paul preaching unto them, they postponed their salvation. Hallelujah. You will start to think of how your faith is now sealed in hell and eternity has begun. You will think about all the times you rejected the 
the invitation to go to the church. Rejected to be the plan of salvation. Rejected to be faithful. You will start to think about all the times you failed to let your light shine before men. When you compromise to the world and to your to the simple lifestyle. When you when you're when you're missing heaven, you will start to think about the trouble you have caused the church or your family. You're being rebellious, being disobedient, living in the works of the flesh. You will start to think about how you rejected the love of God. How you rejected this grace. When you are in your way to hell, you will uh, you will think how, how about you rejected the repentance of your sins. You think about, about how you rejected to believe the true deity of Jesus being the true God and only Savior. When you are your way to hell, you will start to think about how you rejected the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. You will start to think how about how you rejected the sufferings and sacrifices for Christ's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. When you are missing heaven, you will start to feel some things in hell. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, in hell, there is nothing of your teeth. Which represents the sufferings that will be found in hell. You will start to feel that you will ne never have any rest. You will start to feel there's a feeling of great pain in everlasting fire. In hell, you will start to feel you are in torment. Hallelujah. You will start hallelujah to feel you are being tortured physically and mentally thinking all your regrets. How I wish I went to church. How I wish I went to church service when someone have invited me. How I wish I have listened and repented, repented of my sins and have been baptized in the name of Jesus. How I wish I swallowed my pride and humbled myself before God. How I wish I forgive and ask forgiveness and reconciled. How I wish. But it's too late when you are in hell. Hell is a place of forever regrets. Oh, hallelujah. When you're missing heaven, you will start to search blindly because you are in outer darkness. There is no hope of getting out. There is nothing but, hallelujah, frustration and pain, eternity. When you are missing heaven, you will start to share with others who will be in hell with you. And they will be your forever neighbors. You have no choice. You cannot choose who will be your neighbors in hell. In hell, you will realize that there is no positive thing you can do. It's all over. It's too late. No more an altar to cry upon to. In hell, no more chance to 
praise and worship God. We are so blessed we are still have the chance. Hallelujah. We still have the altar. you can do to correct it. Think about it. In hell, no more hope. Just regrets. But I have some good news for you today. You do not have to miss heaven. If 
you believe and be baptized. But he that believe and not shall be damned. If you do not want to lose heaven, hallelujah, they may faithful until the end. Hallelujah. If you do not want to lose heaven, live a holy, overcoming life. Yeah. Hallelujah. He is reaching out unto you right now. Do not miss his hand. Hallelujah. He may not be talking to all of us. Maybe to one or few to all. Hallelujah to some of us. If you feel in your heart right now that God is talking to you, that God is reaching out unto you, do not miss His hand. Do not miss heaven. Grab His hand of grace and salvation today. Hallelujah. For today, now is the day of your salvation. Later or tomorrow may be too late. Or they may not come to you anymore. Life is short. And there is no more salvation after death. If you die without Jesus. We cannot pray for you. For God to guide you to enter heaven. That is not biblical. You can do it today. Do not wait for you to die and ask your relatives to pray for you. Yes. You have now the chance opportunity to be faithful. To obey the will of the Father in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. While you still have the chance while you are still breathing, choose Jesus today. Amen. Choose to obey Him. Choose to be saved now. Choose to follow the gospel of Christ. Choose to be faithful. Oh, 